Good morning. Thank Good morning. you uh, for everybody attending today. We have a very exciting event coming up. It says on our, on our agenda that we were going to honor a uh, former board member, Dr. J. Alfred Smith Sr., but he's not here at this time, so if he comes in, we'll do that whenever he arrives. Um, I was going to ask Executive Vice Chancellor Steve Bruckman to do some introductions. Okay, we, we are going to introduce our, our new employees. And I'm pleased to introduce Michelle Goldberg, who is a new staff counsel at the Chancellor's office. Michelle comes to us from the California Department of Education, uh, where she worked for a number of years and has a lot of background in education issues, and we're delighted to have her here. And uh, Patrick here? Patrick Perry? <coughs> no. uh, one of Patrick Perry's new employees is here. And, and I'm, I'm sorry, J Jacob, Jacob Schluter is here. And, uh, I'm part of the support team. So, uh, so welcome, Jacob. Uh, Patrick must have not expected us to get through it first thing. That's okay. So, uh, <laughs> that's okay. Uh, that, that's it for the employees. Okay. Right. <laughs> um, welcome to both new employees. You work in very important areas for the office, so thank you. We're going to move on to item 6.1. Uh, 2010 Classified Employee of the Year Awards, and um, I believe our member Tana Thomas is going to introduce our awardees. And to give you a little sense of our photo opportunities, um, when the awardees are up here, we'll take some individual pictures, and at the end of all the awardee awards being given out, uh, we were going to take a break, and then uh, I was going to ask the entire board to come up immediately when we break, and all the awardees, and we'll do a large group photo, and then we'll have our break. Good morning. Can you hear me? Yes. It's not a Verizon commercial, just checking. <laughs> Within California Community Colleges, there are nearly 25,000 classified employees. As many of you know, classified employees are often the unsung heroes of California Community Colleges, often characterized as the glue that holds the system together, frequently working behind the scenes to ensure that everything runs smoothly for students, faculty, and administrators. The job skills and educational backgrounds of cl classified employees are very diverse. Many hold certificates and degrees, including associates, bachelors, masters, and doctorates. Additionally, many of these employees are exemplary leaders in state and or community organizations. On behalf of the Board of Governors, I am honored to introduce the 2010 recipients of the Community College Classified Employees of the Year. If you haven't already done so, I encourage you to take time to read the information for each of the award recipients that's provided in the agenda. I'm going to give you just a bit, bit of in additional information about them, and the 2010 award recipients are, and we will start, Ruth Ann Hansen, Butte Glen Community College District. Ruth Ann is an employment technician at Butte College and has been with the district for eight years. Are we in the right spot? <laughs> Thank you. She is a strong advocate of fellow employees and students. Her ability to motivate others to stretch and grow to reach their potential in a competitive job market is commendable. Among her many professional and community activities, Ruth Ann is involved in the college's Food for Thought Committee to help raise funds for a food pantry at Butte College. She was also involved in the, the college's Make a Difference Day efforts when over 300 volunteers worked to complete 26 projects in the community. 
Their efforts received national attention, and Butte College received one of the 10 Paul Newman Awards <coughs> through USA Today. The Board of Governors, the Chancellor's Office, and the Foundation for Community Colleges is proud to recognize Ruth Ann Hansen as a 2010 Community College Classified Employee of the Year. Congratulations, <laughs> Ruth Ann. <laughs> Beautiful. Thank Quick shot. Can I get you all centered right there, please? Okay. Come in closer. <clears throat> Thank you very much. I'd just like to say how flattered I am that my district nominated me for this and how honored I am. And uh, this is just a kind of proof to me that the Lord has me right where he wants me doing the job that he prepared me to do. So thank you very much. You. The next recipient, Dora Lynn Folletti, Yosemite Community College District. Lynn is an administrative specialist with student outreach and development at Columbia College and has been with the district for six years. Dora Lynn is described by her colleagues as having integrity, a strong work ethic, and the ability to bring individuals together for the good of the order. Dora Lynn is a graduate of Columbia College and uses her personal experiences to enhance her effectiveness as she communicates with students and community members. She gives generously of her time, effort, and monetary contributions to many community service projects and organizations, including Habitat for Humanity, Relay for Life, and the Girl Scouts of America. Dora Lynn is a tremendous artist and has used her skills to benefit the Columbia Elementary School Arts Program, Tuolumne County Beautification Project, and painted murals for Sonora High School, Shaw's Flat School, and Columbia Elementary School. The Board of Governors, the Chancellor's Office, and the Foundation for California Community Colleges is proud to recognize Dora Lynn Folletti <coughs> as a 2010 Community College Classified Employee of the Year. Congratulations. <laughs> In incidentally, if there are those from the college uh, that would like to come up and, and uh, be part of the picture, uh, feel free to do so. I, I see Ro Darnell, the <laughs> chancellor, <laughs> and uh, I, we forgot to mention that at the first round, but uh, there are those that uh, have, are part of the college that are here to honor the people. Thank you, Jeremy. The chancellor would be asking the chancellor. <laughs> <laughs> now, the folks on the end, can you just come toward me a little bit? Okay, got two cameras. Well, um, I would just really like to thank everyone in the Board of Governors, especially in my Chancellor Roe Darnell. I'm really fortunate to work in the community college of, in California, the system. I truly believe in this system. Um, special thanks to my president, Dr. Jones Smith, who really supports our college in every step. I know it's a challenging time with the budgets, but all community colleges, I really feel, have never lost sight of what our mission is, and that's to put students first. And, on behalf of all the community college classified employees, we really believe in what we do. So thank everyone here. We really appreciate it. Thank you so much. The next recipient, Kathy Strain, Lake Tahoe Community College.
Kathy is a laboratory specialist in the science department at Lake Tahoe Community College and has been with the district for 13 years. According to her nominator, the science, come on over. <laughs> I won't bite. According to her nominator, the science department at Lake Tahoe Community College is the gem of the college, largely due to Kathy's tireless efforts. She has found ways to cut the cost of supplies as well as improve methods of disposable of hazardous materials while improving standards. Kathy regularly volunteers to teach science to preschool, elementary, and middle school children, bringing hands-on learning materials to their classrooms to expose and engage them in science. She has taught forensics to elementary and middle school students during the summer kids college program and established an Audubon sanctuary at a local golf course, one of only two golf courses on California State Park's land. The Board of Governors, the Chancellor's Office, and the Foundation for California Community Colleges is proud to recognize Kathy Strain as a 2010 Community College Classified Employee of the Year. Congratulations. Oh, absolutely. Okay, come in. Okay. How wonderful. Wanna be even or come on inside? Thank you so much. It's just a thrill to be here. Uh, you guys have uh, overwhelmed me, and uh, I'd like to thank uh, Barbara Walters, our uh, Director of Human Resources, for nominating me. And I just had my uh, admin up here, so uh, we work for a great college, Lake Tahoe Community College is a small school where so many of us do so many different things. It's uh, embarrassing to be singled out. Uh, everybody has lots of different hats that they wear and everybody does a wonderful job. Our admin is wonderful. Cynthia Preston is my dean. Couldn't ask for a better dean. We just have a new uh, vice president of business services, Sue Niehoff, who uh, I'm looking forward to working with her. And uh, it's a great college. We have a fabulous science department. Um, not only my supervisors and my colleagues, but also my very good friends. So thank you so much. I really appreciate it. The next recipient, Rose Cortez, Feather River Community College. Accepting the award for Rose is her brother, Claudio Cortez. I would explain that this, this award is, is given posthumously. Come on over. Rose was a custodian utility worker at Feather River College and had been with the district for 30 years. Rose believed that each individual, regardless of their position, had something, something to contribute to instruction and or pursuit of knowledge. She didn't isolate herself in her job as a custodial worker. Rather, she incorporated it as a way to get to know students and staff. Oftentimes, Rose was known to take students and staff into her own home, treating them as family. At every game, no matter the sport, she would, could be found volunteering at the concession stand. Rose volunteered as a host family for the Youth for Understanding program and other community activities, including the Special Olympics, United Blood Service Community Blood Drive, Relay for Life, the Ventura Club, and Seasonal Highway Cleanup. She assisted with the local community supper, which feeds many of the community and serves 
as a social gathering setting for those who might otherwise be isolated. She exemplified the Good Samaritan at all times. The Board of Governors, the Chancellor's Office, and the Foundation for California Community Colleges is proud to recognize Rose Cortez as a 2010 Community College Classified Employee of the Year. Understandable. <laughs> the next recipient is Linda Renee, South Orange County Community College District. <clears throat> Linda is a senior administrative assistant at Irvine Valley College and has been with the district for 20 years. She is described as highly curious detail-oriented, with a strong capacity for both analytical and abstract approaches to problem solving. Linda strives for excellence in all that she does and is the poster child for lifelong learning. <laughs> in addition to her on-campus accomplishments, Linda has earned community recognition through certification as a basic literacy tutor, <coughs> teaches ESL in the adult program, is certified as a community emergency responder, and a certified level four large animal response team member and a trailer team leader. The Board of Governors, the Chancellor's Office, and the Foundation for California Community Colleges <coughs> is proud to recognize Linda Renee as a 2010 Community College Classified Employee of the Year. Buenos dias, good morning everyone. Good morning. I'm very honored to be here this morning. I'd wish to thank the California Community Colleges Board of Governors for recognizing the contributions we classified staff make. I'd also like to thank my friends and neighbors in my beautiful hometown of San Juan Capistrano for allowing me to freely share my love of reading, communication, and emergency preparedness. <laughs> Finally, I am personally thrilled to publicly thank my family, my friends, <coughs> and my supervisor at Irvine Valley College, Dr. Gwendolyn Plano, for their constant support and belief in me. Muchas gracias. Thank you. And our final recipient for this year is Laurel Kenley, West Valley Mission Community College District. <laughs> Laurel is a library media technician at West Valley College and has been with the district for 11 years. Laurel is highly regarded by her colleagues and is a leader, come on over, <laughs> and is a leader with a simple purpose 
serve the college, serve her constituents, and support students. In the words of her nominator, she is focused on students, open to change, alert to the need to be adaptable, committed to quality student services, and dedicated to supporting the teaching learning process. Laurel is also deeply committed to helping people in need, whether by fundraising for a scholarship for students or volunteering for Habitat for Humanity. In 2007, she spent her wedding anniversary working on rebuilding the mu musician's village in New Orleans after the damage from her crane Katrina. The Board of Governors, the Chancellor's Office, and the Foundation for California Community Colleges is proud to recognize Laurel Kenley as a 2010 Community College Classified Employee of the Year. Congratulations. <laughs> Um, I'd like to thank the Board of Governors for this honor, Chancellor John Hendrickson and the West Valley College uh, Board of Trustees for um, uh, endorsing the nomination. Dr. Lori Gaskin, who's the reason why I'm here today, I'd like to thank her for making me look so good on paper. <laughs> <laughs> I'd also like to uh, thank my fellow uh, uh, co-workers and my husband for being here today helping me celebrate my uh, fellow Classified Employees of the Year, congratulations. And finally, I would really like to um, recognize the classified staff throughout the community college system whose hard work and dedication contribute so much to student success. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. Oops. That concludes our award presentation. I'd like to just take one moment to echo what was said about the contributions of classified employees throughout, this, throughout the state. There are many, many, many very hardworking and well-deserving individuals. I hope that to this award continues and that we have more and more opportunities for you to see the contributions of classified employees. I'd also like to especially thank in Jerry Griffin for all of her tireless efforts in helping to pull this together because without her labor of love, we probably couldn't do nearly the, the job that's done here. So thank you in Jerry. Thank you to Chris with the foundation for your help and all of the others that have helped to put this together. Thank you. President Malumed says we will now take a brief break. If the board members and all of the, the award recipients can come forward for one group shot, thank you. Uh, the good times will continue, if everybody could take their seat. Um, Dr. J. Alfred Smith Sr. has arrived, so if you could please come forward. We are so happy you are here and your wife, absolutely. Um, we know how much work it is uh, to do everything, to do your regular job and to volunteer for the state of California. So we really appreciate your time and effort here. Yes, please come forward. So um, thank you very much and um, I would love to give you this resolution. 
Well, I'll just hold this and talk. And uh, <laughs> uh, you know, you you should never put a microphone in front of me. Uh, but I, I I wanted to uh, uh, simply uh, praise uh, Pastor Smith and the contribution that he made on our Board of Governors. We always appreciated uh, a lot of what he had to say and the uh, good words and the, the uh, intelligence that he displayed and the help that he had to our board. So thank you very much, Pastor Smith, and we're glad to honor you with a resolution for your service on the Board of Governors. Yes. <laughs> it is an honor for me to be here today in a room where I had the privilege of being associated with some of the most astute and sophisticated board members who knew how to walk the political maze to get legislation done to enhance uh, community college uh, educational opportunity for all of our three million students. I must also say that I was very blessed to work with a chancellor second to none who has a synthesis of head and heart for the good of the people. I'm very grateful to the community college staff, each one a specialist in his or her own right each one creative and innovative, each one imaginative and inspirational, each one blessed with knowing how to untie the Guardian knot. <laughs> and I'd like to pay tribute uh, to this wonderful staff that was patient with my slow speech. And I want to say to other members of the board, I admire you. I admire you for your tenacity. I admire you for your commitment uh, to the people. I admire you for your interest and not only a working with the young and gifted, but also that part of the class that made the top part possible. <laughs> and I must say that I'm leaving with regrets, the regret that I could not continue, but I am a preacher of the gospel. I am one who loves to tall, talk and give good news in a bad news world. I am one who loves to encourage people to remember that they may not be able to put out the darkness, but they can be the light that shines in the darkness. And because I am a preacher, uh, after retiring at the Allen Temple Baptist Church in Oakland, and after serving there 40 years, a, a new door has opened a door that has taken me uh, not only across the state of California, but across this nation to be a speaker and to be a mentor of younger clergy. And since I made that commitment to God long time ago, when he opened this new door for me, I had to step down as a board member. But I want to say to you, I realize that I didn't have the technical skills, but I came here with a heart, with a heart for the work that you're doing, with a heart for the marginalized, with a heart for the last, the least, and the lowest, with a heart for those who if they only could get a little help could make it, and not only make it, but leave their mark uh, here in society. And 
as I close, I must say, isn't it strange that kings and queens <coughs> and common folk like you and me are builders to eternity? Each is given a shapeless mass, a book of rules and a kit of twos, and each must make out of his or her life a stepping stone and not a stumbling block. Stepping stones and not stumbling blocks to eternity. Thank you for this award. God bless you. Well, thank you very much. Thank you for coming today. Madam Chairman? No, no. Yes? I'd like to just uh, sure, say. Sure, please uh, stay Pastor, up here for a few minutes. You know, words. you said you admired us. When I joined the board, you were the one of the members I admired the most. You, you, you presented yourself with, with strength and passion and dignity. And every time you were uh, sitting by my side, I felt inspired by, by your passion. So I'm going to miss you deeply on this board. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I feel good. That was a nice part of our meeting.